So, it's basically just like what the title of this video says. I was playing a few matches in space a while back when I was suddenly dropped into a lobby with much lower rated players. I actually had to blink hard twice to make sure I was seeing correctly. Now, granted, for space, I only have an A- rating, but that typically means that the lowest rated player that I might get matched up against would be in the B plus category, and yet here there are some C rated players. I figured it must have been because since it was in space, and not a lot of players like to play in space that that was the reason why this happened. And this was the reason why I hesitated in ever uploading this match at all. Yes, I performed well in this match, but in the back of my mind I sort of doubted my actual performance because of who my opponents were. Still, I figured why not save the match since it is with the Delta Gundam. It is one of my favorite supports in the game after all. Anyway, while watching this match again I did find a few interesting things worth talking about. Now here, the team does a good job of sticking together. For a moment, I sort of wondered if they were simply following me because of my rating. Here, I was trying to get some melee action going, but that double Zeta wanted none of that. And there's some panic fire with his missiles. And that's kill number one. I just forced that guy to waste a shot and open him up for an attack by my teammates. And I still can't get any melee action going. That's not too surprising since this map is pretty big and open so range can often be the more preferable option here. Normally I would think that getting close to support would be the best way to attack the support. But in this case I suppose the Delta Gundam is a suit that getting close might be the last thing you want to do. At this point, the match is already starting to look like it's going to be one-sided, and I'm feeling like I'm really just cruising or going for a walk in the park. My teammates are doing a good job of sticking close to each other. And more than that, I would say that we have overall good situational awareness. I back off a little there, since I don't know where the enemy support fire is going to be coming from. I wasn't sure if that double zeta was a general or a raid at first, but now I'm pretty sure it was a general based on the damage it took from me. There goes the O, a name I never really liked for a mobile suit, because every time I hear it, I always think about the anime The Big O, instead of Gundam. I have yet to run into an enemy raid, and that's because the other team decided not to use one. You can get away without using a raid sometimes, but other times, like this one such time here, that does not end up being a good decision on their part. A lot of the times when I die in the Delta Gundam, it's often because I forget that I don't have a lot of HP. Either way, I think it was about time I died in this match since I keep trying to charge forward. Requesting to sortie.
still, no luck with the melee. That machine gun fire scared me. I thought it was enemy fire and backed off. Turns out it was friendly. Finally, I get some melee action, but not much. For low rated players, these guys know how to stick together, which honestly is the more impressive thing to stand out in this match. My own performance is really just luck. Since we're all sticking together, really any of my kills could have easily gone to someone else on the team. I don't really think this map exactly benefits the Delta all that much. Its range strength is not all that good compared to the Zeta Plus C1 and other supports, and you all saw that I couldn't get anything going with the melee all match long. This right here was probably my biggest mistake of the match. I got a little greedy wanting to tie my record for most kills in the match, which is 12. I figured now is as good a time as ever, but that clearly didn't end up happening. Now, here's the other interesting thing about this match. Although I got the top individual score, everything else went to the number two guy on my team. The reason why I say it's interesting is because four out of the five guys on the other team had higher ratings than him. It's also not like he just edged out on getting the top scores in the three categories. He beat them by a lot. Now, it might be possible that this is a second account and he has a main account that is much higher in rating. Or that the other team just got unlucky in picking the suits that they did to match up against ours. The O, for example, is not exactly built for open maps like this one. At least, not when the other team does a pretty good job at keeping up a barrage of ranged attacks. They also didn't have a raid to at least keep me in check. But not to take anything away from him, he had a good performance, and I'm just going to give him the benefit of the doubt. I myself didn't do anything all that impressive. It was just that the team did a good job of sticking together. You can even see here, although I got 11 kills, I didn't get that good of an assist score. In fact, it could very well be that the reason why the other guy got such a high assist score was because I probably ended up finishing off whoever he was attacking first. This is why I don't consider having a high kill count in GPL2 to be all that impressive. And lastly, this is also why I don't consider anyone's rating to be a good indicator of their overall skill. I've seen plenty of A-plus and S-rated players make the same rookie mistakes as new players make. It's over, Anakin! I have the high ground! You 
underestimate my power. Don't try it. If anything, I see higher rated players be more selfish and cost your team's wins because of their overconfidence and arrogance compared to newer players. Not all of them, of course, are like this. Most are actually okay and try to be good teammates. But since I mostly play with A plus on the ground, that means whenever I run into bad players, they usually are as I just described. They're selfish and think they're better than they actually are. Well, that's gonna do it for this video. As always, Mobile Suit K9, Signing off.